It just went on. I think it's on. It might be paused. No, it's on. Hi, guys. I pushed the button to record like two minutes ago, and I've been sitting here waiting for it. So it's me. I'm back. Well, for those of you who did um, Zoom with us, thank you so much for Zooming. It's fun to see you. Thanks for dancing with me. We had a cool dance party. It's fun. You got to try it. Um, so I've been here in the classroom. You could, you, we talked about that this morning, if you were on Zoom, um, that I am, I am here. I'm coming to school. I'm working in the classroom. You could tell because of what's behind me. And I'm just making lots of stuff, making stuff, uh, making activities for when we come back. So um, one of the things I laminated this morning, I thought, let's just go ahead and try it. It's a different alphabet than we've done before, but we always practice alphabet and we have different ones. So that's okay. But this one I just bought and I thought it was beautiful that it's all animals and the pictures, the illustrations are really cool. They just remind me of maybe when I was a kid. I don't know, but they were so fat. I had to do it in two books. So this is half of the alphabet and this is the other half of the alphabet. So let's start it. Let's start with our cool alphabet. A. Now this word, we were talking about short A and long A. This is um, uppercase A, lowercase A. And then what is this a picture of? Most of us would look at that and say, oh, monkey. But technically, it's not a monkey. Monkeys and apes are two different kinds of things. And this is an ape. Now what is it? And we were talking about long A's the other day, and if bossy E is at the end of that word, it's going to make the A say its name. So this is a perfect example. A, ape. Nice. Nice picture. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh hold on. I just got an antivirus notice. Here we go. What's this one? Capital or uppercase B, lowercase B makes the sound B. And what word is this? Do you know? If you can guess just by looking at the picture, that's fine. If we can read the word, let's read it. It says b beaver, beaver. I thought it was a very nice picture. Okay, ready? Here we go, next one. <gasps> Uppercase C, lowercase C makes the sound k, k. Cow. Cow. We talk about cows all the time. We talk about them every day almost because we talk about where the milk comes from, <laughs> right? We have milk on our cereal. That's it. Okay, uppercase D, lowercase D. The sound is D, D. What is that? That is a donkey. If you see Shrek, you might recognize a donkey, right? We don't see too many of them in person anymore these days, you know, in certain parts of the United States, there's donkeys. I think in Arizona, I think there's a lot of donkeys, but not around here, huh? Donkey. Cute. <gasps> Uppercase E, lowercase E, eh, makes the eh sound. Well, when it's got an L with it, it sounds a little different, but we're still going to say it. It says elk, elk. You might want to call that a reindeer. You would be right. And when I lived in Alaska, you betcha, we saw elk. They were there. How about this one? Uppercase, mm, that might be a little too light for you to see. Uppercase F, lowercase F makes the sound. And this picture is, yeah, it's really light. I'm sorry. It's a flamingo. Didn't know how it was going to come out on the screen. We'll try it. We'll do a different one later. Here we go. Big G, little G makes the g sound. This is a gazelle. Gazelle. There's some unusual animals that we don't talk about very often in this, in this collection. Here we go. Big H, little H makes the h sound. Here we have our word. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. I'm sorry, is there a better place for me to hold it so you can actually see it? Maybe right there, hedgehog. I just have to get a little closer. Here we go, big I, little I. The sound it makes is I. 
Our animal is iguana. Iguana. We have one or two books about iguanas, don't we? We always read about those at least once a year. I'm going to turn the page. Keep them all snapped. They want to open up. They want to open, but I won't let them. Big J, little J. The sound is J. What word is that? What animal do we have? It is a jaguar. J jaguar. Very good. Big K, little K. Initial sound is k, k. That's the sound it makes. What's our word? Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Big L, little L. What sound does it make? L. What's our word? Lion. Lion. Now you'll notice that not all of these animals are here in the United States with us, right? Some of these animals are from Australia, some of them are from Africa, other parts of the world. This one is from the United States. These are these live up in the mountains. Um, big M, little M. It makes the sound mmm. Our picture is a picture of a marmot. Marmot. He's a furry thing. He lives up in the mountains. Colorado, I think, has a lot of them. All right. I have to go to my second book. Here we go. Big N or uppercase N, little N. What does it sound like? Mmm. Mm, and this is a picture of a newt. That's a lizardy kind of fellow. Oh, big O, little O. The sound it makes is ah. Our picture is of an ostrich. Ostrich. Those are the biggest birds. They're flightless. But they can run really fast. They lay eggs. They're quite beautiful. Here we go. This animal does live in California where we live. They call it something else most of the time though. I'll give you this name first and then I'll tell you the other name. So this is letter P. Big P, little P. What sound does it make? P, 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 P. Our word is Puma. If you live here in California, lots of times they call it cougar or a mountain lion. Puma, same thing. Different name, same animal, different name. Oh, these are here too. These are all over the place. Big Q, little Q. Qu, qu, qu. And remember I've told you before that Q always has to have a U with it or it just doesn't make a good word almost all the time. Very, very few exceptions. So this is Q. Quail, quail. Ah, I like this one. Big R, little R. What sound does R make? R. Our animal is a red fox. It has another difficult letter with it, doesn't it? It ends in an X. Remember we talked about most words don't really have an X that begin with it, but sometimes you'll find an X in the middle of a word or at the end of the word. There we go, red fox. Next word. Oh, these are all over. We have these right outside our door. We see them when we go for walks, don't we? Big S, little s. s. Our word is squirrel, squirrel. And look, there's a Q in squirrel. And guess who's next to the Q? His old friend, you. So we can make that sound. Qu -qu squirrel. These do not live here in the United States. These live in rainforests. Big T, little T, what begins with T? And what sound does it make? It says T. And this animal is a toucan, toucan. Big U, little U, what sound is it making? Uh. In this word, it's not making the uh sound though because there's an R next to it. It's called an R controlled vowel. So it's not gonna say uh, it's gonna say er. Urchin, that's a sea urchin. You find that in the ocean. It's prickly. If you step on it, you can hurt yourself. Big V, little V. 
V, v. What's our word? Vulture. This one looks like an African type vulture. We have vultures here. They call we call them turkey vultures, but they're also very big birds. They fly over our school every day. They're similar. Turkey vultures. <gasps> this we don't have. These are in the ocean, in the polar regions. W. W. Big W, little yellow, little yellow. Why is it yellow? Yellow ends in the letter W, but there's no yellow here. I don't know what I'm talking about. W, w, w. walrus. Walrus. We don't have that here in Southern California unless you go to SeaWorld. What about this guy? Big X, little X. X makes that weird sound. X, X. It's like a K S C K S. K -S. And when it's in the beginning of a word like this with an E next to it, it's not pronounced like X. It's pronounced like Z. Isn't that weird? So this says Xenops. It doesn't say Xenops. Mm, it says Xenops. I know. The language. Big Y, little Y. What begins with Y? Y sounds like Y. The word is Yak. And that is spelled exactly how it sounds. What do you know about that? That doesn't happen very often. Here we go. Big Z, little Z. What sound does it make? Z. What is that? A zebra. Remember what did I tell you that people in England call it? Zebra. Mm -hmm. And they say the letter Z as Z. It's so funny. People are different all over the world. Language is different all over the world, but I love it. Okay, so yeah, you know I really do love the English language. I read all the time. I read books about the English language. Um, I think language is wonderful. And I also think putting pictures with language is wonderful. So that's what we're going to do now. And I thought our theme for today would be animals. Because it's hard, you know, it's hard to do our story time unless I have my son filming it. So we won't do a story. It's hard to see the book. But... We'll do a task together. Let's talk about animals. I'm gonna try and keep this up close so you can see it. So this, basically, some of you have done this task before. It is, we will take a picture of an animal and we will try to determine whether that animal lives in the forest or does that animal live in a house as a domestic pet. Either it's a forest animal or a domestic pet meaning it can live in your house, it can live in your backyard, maybe. All right, let's try it. Our first animal is a raccoon. <clears throat> okay, who thinks a raccoon can live in your house? No, 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 no. A raccoon lives in the forest. Let's say it together, say forest. Good, I'll put one up there. Okay, what about this little critter? <gasps> what is he? He's a good old dog. Can a dog live in your house? Or outside in your yard? Or in a kennel? Yeah, he's a domestic pet, so he can live at the house with you. Yay, we've got one in the forest, one in the house. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this was on our alphabet. It's one of our alphabet animals. Look at that. Can you see it? It is a red fox. Remember we talked about the X at the end of the word fox. Red fox. Can you have a fox as a pet? No. No. They have to live in the forest. They're wild animals. They're beautiful, but they're wild. They need to stay out in the forest. Okay, here's a good one. Oh, man. Look at this guy. I love him. He's gorgeous, but he's big. He's huge. He's a big old bear. Does he live in the forest or can you have a pet bear? Forest. Can't have him at home. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, here's an easy one. Here's a gimme. What's that? A meow. It's a cat. Can you have a cat? Oh, sure. 
Most many people have cats at their houses. That one's fine. What about this? That is a deer, my dear. Can you have a deer in the forest or in your house? Forest. A deer is a forest creature. It needs to stay outside. It's too big to be in the house. Oh, here we've got a couple of birds. Let's see, which one of these birds can live in the house and which one of these needs to be in the forest? Here's a bird. What kind of bird is that? That's an eagle. Can that live in the house or does that need to be in the forest? Forest. Now I'll show you one that can be in the house. I already gave you the answer, but it's a bird. And you can have a pet parrot. These aren't native to our area, but if you get one from a reputable source, you may have a pet bird. They can talk or they can copy things that you say. They can, they're teachable, they're, they're great, they're great. Okay, here's my next one. <gasps> oh, we were just talking about those this morning, Richie happened to win a couple of goldfish and we could see Richie's goldfish, right? Well, there's a goldfish. Can you have that as a pet? I like, yeah, Richie has that as a pet. That's great. How about this one? Squirrel. That was also on our ABCs, a squirrel. Well, we know they live outside here on the campus. They live outside. They don't live inside our classrooms, right? So they're going to have to be out in the forest. <gasps> Two more. Easy peasy. Bunnies. Well, Tristan knows because we visited the bunnies all the time that the bunnies have their own little bunny hutch, but some people actually keep them in their houses, right? So a bunny can be a pet if you have enough room for a bunny. Also, if you watched my video about my hamster during the summer, you saw my sweet little hamster. Um, I gave you the wrong kind. I said it was a robo, but it's not. And I said it, maybe I said it was, I don't know, but it's a, it's a, a Russian white, but he's not white. Remember I told you a big story. Well, that's what I have. I have a little guy. Um, and, um, I don't take care of him all the time. My child does, but he's great fun. Well, she actually, she's great fun. She comes and sits on my on my lap and I feed her cauliflower and bean sprouts and plums. Well, we finished one. Yay! Okay, let's take a break from that one. We have more, but we'll take a break from that activity. Um, let's do a thumbs up, thumbs down. You guys were great with that the other day. So I picked an animal. Um, let's see which time we have. Let's do this. How about this one? Oh, let me get my thumbs up and thumbs down all set. And we're going to read what's on that first page. Sorry, my Velcro ripping. Sorry. Here we go. Let's see what this flip book says. It says, is it a pig flip book? Is it a pig? Do we all know what pigs look like? Yeah, I think so. So let's start with our first one. What animal is this that we are looking at? Hmm. If you can think of the name, bonus points. If you just know that it's not a pig, then go ahead and do thumbs down, right? If you can think of the name, say it. That's a rhinoceros. Oftentimes we say rhino, short for rhinoceros, but it's a rhinoceros. Is it a pig? No. Thumbs down. Do your thumbs down with me, please, please. Oh, here we go. What's next? What is this one? What's this little fellow? Is this a pig? Once again, say the name if you know what it is. What is it? It's a dog. So is that a thumbs down or thumbs up? About a pig. Yeah, it's a thumbs down. No, that's not a pig. <gasps> what about that? He's in his mud bath. Is that a pig? Yeah, that's a big thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up, please. Thank you. It's a yes. That's a piggy. I think we have more books about piggies than any other kind of book, huh? We have lots of piggy books. I like pigs. What about this one? Is it a piggy? Is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? That's right. It's a pig. Oh, uh, what about this? Mm, it, first of all, it's, what color is it? It's green. 
Second, it swims and it has fins and a tail. What is it? Thank you. It's a fish. Is that thumbs up or thumbs down for the question, is it a pig? Thumbs down. Thank you. Thumbs down. Excellent, excellent. How about this one? He's a little spotted with mud, but I think you can still clearly see that he's pink and he has a wiggly, I mean, a little spiral tail, and he's got his little wink wink nose, and he is a pig. That's right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. How about that guy? Hmm. He's brown and furry. Hmm. He lives in the African savanna. Mm -mm. Not a pig. Thumbs down. He's a lion. That's right. Uh oh, I did my thumb wrong. Here we go. <laughs> uh, he's eating my favorite food. What did I have for breakfast again today? Yeah, it was, that's right. A banana. And I told Richie that too. I said I had a banana today. I did. I love my bananas. Um, but and though I may love this little creature and I may love the little banana he's eating, uh, is he a pig? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. He might be an ape. He might be a monkey. And what about this one? Oh, he's so cute. Is it a pig? Big thumbs up, right? It's a pig. One more. One more piggy. Oh, look at that one. That's the best drawing yet. Is it a pig? Thumbs up. That's all we have left. One yes. Thumbs up. Yay. Finished. Look what I found, you guys. Well, I've been cleaning the classroom, too, and I've been clean, opening up drawers and nooks and crannies and finding stuff. Do you guys, does anyone remember this? This pig? Because I found him, and I do not remember him. At all. Well, I kind of do, but now that I've squeezed him. You ready? Ready? <laughs> we were supposed to play like hot potato with him. So you pass him, you squeeze him, and then you pass him to the next person. And this person goes, I got him. And then you pass him to the next person. And this person goes, I got him. Pass him to the next person. I got him. Pass him to the next person. Ah, my lights went out. <gasps> well, I'm holding on to him. That means I'm out. Hold on. Let me just, I got to uh, let the light fixture know that I'm here. It doesn't believe that I'm here unless I get up several times and walk around in front of it. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Let's do one more of these sorting out. We can do the piggy again later. We can play that when we get back, can't we? Hot potato, but it's hot piggy. Uh, here's our next one. We're going to be sorting animals that either live at the farm, like our friend the pig, or live in the ocean. And those couldn't be more different, could they? Can pigs live in the ocean? All right, so our first picture we will start with is this. What is that? We call that a dolphin. And um, since he's clearly in the water, we're going to assume that ocean is his proper place, not on a farm. They don't have much, many places for a, a, a dolphin to be on the farm, do they? Ah, how about this one? What is that called? Horse. That is a horse. Okay, so let's look at it. Does a horse live on the farm or in the ocean? Well, clearly this horse is standing on the grass in a pen where he runs around and he does not live in the ocean. So he's going to be on the farm. How about, wow, do you know what this is? Wowzer. How about that? What is that? I'm not even sure the right angle for this picture at the moment. Perhaps that's it. Maybe you can't really tell. It's a jellyfish. Jellyfish sting. They can hurt you. 
So you have to be careful of those when you go into the ocean. That's right, not a farm. You don't see jellyfish on the farm, you see them in the ocean. Oh my goody goodness, I love these guys too. <gasps> what is that? That is a cow. Yes, there was a picture of a cow on our alphabet as well. Does the cow live on the farm or in the ocean? The farm. He's the greatest, he's king of the, king of the farm animals, right? The cow is the greatest, the biggest on the farm. Um, oh, this one's interesting. What about this one? What is that called? Some people call it an orca. Oh, that's really the technical name. Or a killer whale. They are big and they live in the ocean. Ocean. No farms for them. They're in the middle of the ocean. How about this? Ooh, can you tell what that is? I'm so sorry, that picture is not very clear on the screen. It is a hen or a chicken. We know where chickens live, right? Old McDonald had a farm, and on that farm he had a chicken. E-I-E-I-O. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a shark. No, that doesn't work. Old McDonald didn't have a shark. The ocean has sharks, not Old McDonald's farm. Ooh, here's another one. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a goat, E-I-E-I-O. That works, right? Yeah, goats are on farms, love it. How about Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a spotted fish. No, 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 nope, ocean. How about this one? Can you tell me what that is? I don't know if you can see. It's a sea turtle farm. No. There are some kinds of tortoises and turtles that would, could live in a farm on in the pond or, uh, but not, that. that's an ocean, that's a Sea turtle, if ever there was one. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had some sheep or a lamb. Either one. Yes. Perfect for the farm. One more. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a piggy or two. Two pigs. E-I-E-I-O, yes, that is where it belongs. Two pigs, yay, you did it. Farm and ocean, are we clear on that now? Which habitat each one of those animals lives in? If not, we have practiced that lots. Not a big deal, not a, ba not a bad thing to have to practice, right? All right, time's almost up. Remember, this is how you play the game. I push the button. The music starts playing. I pass it to the next person. That person passes it back to me. So I'll pretend you're out there and I'm going to pass it to you. Here we go. Ready? Go. Passing. Oh, thank you. Now it's your turn. Oh, okay. Oh, I had it. One more go. I'm going to see if you have it this time. Ready? Pardon me. I'm sorry. Ready? There you go. No, I don't want it. Oh. Is it my turn, really? No, now it's your turn. No. Ah! It was you! You had it that time! <laughs> Good play. Excellent. All right, guys. I'm going to try and do this every day this week. I hope so. Hopefully, so hopefully you'll see this tonight on Monday night. Um, if I get home early enough and get it posted. If not, you can watch it in the morning. We'll still work on another one for tomorrow. And then again, I'm trying to remind everybody about the Zoom on Thursday. We said we were going to try and dress up as superheroes. Awesome if you can. If you can't, you know, like I said, just tie your blanket around. It can be a cape. Those of you that haven't joined us yet, please join us for the Zoom. And again, you could just bring your favorite superhero. If you have a stuffed superhero, or if you have a pillow that has your superhero on it, 
bring that with you maybe if you don't want to dress up like one i'm gonna try and dress up like a superhero we're gonna see we'll see how much fun it's gonna be okay guys have a lovely evening or a great morning or whichever it is depending on or a great day depending on what time you're watching us see you next time bye